I thought back to something my composer husband said to me. Um, he said that it was terribly difficult for young composers nowadays to learn to write for a really major symphony orchestra because they only got opportunities to compose for small college orchestras and they, they had that it's a very different thing to write for a great orchestra. And what a pity there was no way of apprenticing them. <laughs> about the idea of if there was some way we could help young composers by bringing them together with the orchestra. Now, the LSO is so fantastic, the way in which it helps young musicians. We had the idea of getting young composers to write very short pieces and then having them workshopped by the orchestra in order to really find out how it works to write for really great players. So... This sounds extremely well, but I think the tempo you indicated is too fast. Because is, if we play in the tempo you indicated, we even can't realize all the colors. Every year, um, people are invited to put in um, a series of scores and, and CDs, whatever they can muster of their existing work. They work for a year. Um, I or whoever is, is mentoring them look after them individually. So it, it's like running a, a sort of composition course that runs almost for a year. And during that period, they can come to rehearsals with the orchestra. Um, they get to know individual players. If they have specific questions about orchestral technique, they can go to any player. Then we end up with these, these, these amazing day of workshops where the full orchestra is not, no, it's no question, you can imagine sort of circumstances where an orchestra will just send in deputies to, to play, but you get the full LSO coming in, and they're absolutely committed to, to the scheme. They're all so positive about it and incredibly helpful. From the beginning we've worked with, we've wanted to try to involve jazz composers even composers who are not that skilled in notation, so this is one area they can work on. Inevitably, the larger proportion will be um, relatively classical trained composers, but we've been looking for composers who haven't had a huge amount of orchestral experience. This, I mean, that would defeat the object. The, the idea is that this is their first real meeting with the orchestra. And if it's a composer who comes from outside that tradition, it can be very exciting. We've been particularly successful having young people from the jazz world. There was Jason Yard, who, who a brilliant jazz player, um, who's now really become a, a fine orchestral worker too. And I really look for composers, regardless of their background, and primarily on their talent and their potential. And so for someone like me, it's just been amazing to have that opportunity to, to write for such a great and strong orchestra and, and hear my music back. And, uh, and it, that just inspires new ideas and new situations. And this year we had two more jazz people and somebody from the pop world, a wonderful Sivan, who, who um, is a dancer and singer as well as as um, composer. I've spent a lot of time working with improvising musicians, so um, having to notate things exactly uh, in, in a very particular cultural style that, that the LSO are, are used to was a real challenge for me, but it was one that I wanted to try. So, I mean, this is the best possible opportunity you could have to, to test yourself in that sort of arena. This scheme is about experimentation and it's the opportunity to, to do absolutely whatever they, they want to do. And most of, most of them take that. It's, it's very exciting to watch the development. The first bar is, you know, a, a kind of rhythmic unison that you've got and then the next bars up until A. We have such variety in, in the type of music that turns up, but it's all well written for orchestra because we, we have... We have a wonderful mentor. We have Colin Matthews, and this year, while he was temporarily away, we had James McMillan. We, they get the best of the best.
I think the LSO Panufnik scheme is absolutely unique and extraordinary. I've taught uh, also in America as well as Britain, and I can tell you there's no scheme like this anywhere else. Um, this is an extraordinary opportunity for young composers to get to grips with orchestral writing with really one of the greatest symphony orchestras of the world. Playing in the scheme is fascinating from the orchestra's perspective. It's great to be there at the first stage when these pieces are being played for the first time and also having some input. So you actually, when, they, when you've got a question when you're playing a Brahms symphony, you can only ask the conductor. During this scheme, you can actually have the composer there and say, what, what do you actually mean there? Which is interesting because they don't always write down what they think they've written down, if you see what I mean. Um, so it's fascinating being there at the first stage. Something I've never dreamed, dreamed of. I used to, I come from Romania and I, I, uh, for me the LSO was a, was a legend. Was, I, never, I never dreamed of it. I knew I wanted to write music, but I, I never knew I would, I would ever hear it played by the LSO. So uh, it's really like a dream come true. I hope for the composers it's an opportunity to be involved with um, great musicians and a chance to really spread their wings in how they write for orchestra because the opportunities to do that with the very best musicians are quite limited especially when you're starting out um, and I hope that we then build a family of young composers who can go on to be involved with the LSO over many years. What's also interesting is seeing the way people develop. For instance, Vlad Maestrovici, who had his UBS commission workshop yesterday, that's a 10-minute piece. Well, he did a three-minute Panufnik uh, two years ago, and you can see how he's developed and learned as a result of the Panufnik workshop. And so this is a great example of composers really being trained on the spot by, by a first-class orchestra. I can really feel how, how writing two pieces for this orchestra has made an impact on every, every form of music that I make. Just because it's very strong, it's a very strong orchestra full of strong personalities, masters. I feel my husband would really approve, which is a nice feeling. It's almost 20 years since he died, but I think he would be really happy to know that this scheme is in his name. He would think very highly of it.